Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, back again with another video, and um, yeah, I'm gonna be reviewing this dude today. Nerf Doomlands 2169 Vagabond Vagabond uh, Vag uh, I don't even know what you call that anymore, but I'm just call it Vagabond because you know it sounds cooler. So starting up at the front, uh, there is no barrel attachment because you know obvious reasons. But this big barrel looking thing right here is the only barrel that actually fires. All the other five barrels are there for looks. I mean, that's what Nerf is doing nowadays. So, you know, can't complain and not gonna lie, it does look cool, but it, it doesn't do anything. So, giggity. And to the back is the barrel or cylinder, whatever we call thing. Um, is where you load the blaster. So you can take one of your darts, push them in there very simply. And it's obviously open on both sides, so you can load it from righties or left. And, you know, the cylinder also spins pretty freely, so you can pop out the darts back in, which is awesome. And this is a pump action blaster, so to prime it, you push back and then manually push forward. And that allows you to fire once. But this blaster also has slam fire, so you can hold down the trigger. And when the primer handle hits the forward position, it will automatically fire like this allowing you to dump your six shots pretty fast and pretty quickly. And the prime handle, or the pump handle, very smooth, do like it a lot. So yeah. And to the back of the blaster, and it's painted in this clear line, which is, or a clear piece of plastic, which is pretty common for Doom Lens is what they're doing. So you can kind of like see the internals and how it works and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And the cylinder rotates on every trigger pull, so it's a lot more smoother because on some blaster, it actually rotates on the prime, so it's actually pretty un uncomfortable. So yeah. And there are no sights whatsoever on this blaster, unless you use this big behemoth looking thing right here. I mean, there's no point of aiming anyway, since it's a shotgun type, a single shot shotgun. Giggity. And up top here, there's an instrument tackle rail. You want to add a scope there so you can, you know, aim and all that stuff. Or actually don't put it on at all because it looks way better without anything. Looks better in the stock form. So, yeah, I love this clear pla piece of plastic they did right here. Very good job, Hasbro. Keep painting stuff clear, just like in the Ghost Ops series. So, yeah. And to the grip. So, the grip is not like a pistol grip. It's more like a like a shotgun grip, which is what pretty much what this blaster is. And to be honest, it feels weird at first when I was holding it, but after I hold it, it kind of got used to like the form of the blaster. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And the trigger pull is actually very smooth, actually. You can actually see the spring inside there because it's cleared. That's a very light trigger, so that's what I like. But what I don't like is uh, no... um. No Nerf logo or the actual blaster name on both sides. Well, it actually is, but it's not painted. So Nerf, uh, you need to stop doing that and start painting their Nerf logos on both sides because there's no point of painting on one side and leaving it bored on the other side. And might as well just make it clear on both sides. Come on, Nerf, what are you doing? So yeah, and this blaster does have sling mount, so one here and one here, so you can whip on a sling if you want. So yeah, pretty much uh, this is a bigger strong arm because that's pretty much what it is. But yeah, it looks cool and uh, you know, feels good. Question is, does, does it perform good? So yeah, um, we're gonna get to the firing test. I'm gonna load up with two type of darts. So some of these darts on darts and I also have some elite darts in there. So yeah, overall, um, let's get to the firing test and see how the Vagabond Vagabond performs. So. Yeah, let's get, let's get to the fine test. Alrighty, so now we're at the fine test of the nerf of Vagabond, aka Vagabond, whatever you call this thing. It was loaded up with some um, dart zone darts. Let's get started. Hmm. Reasonably accurate with those darts. Shot some slam fire. Alright, so clear that, no problem. Load up with the elite darts now. All right, now some elite darts. Okay, zombie strike. Jesus Christ, inaccurate. Just. All right, so yeah, overall, I mean, 
Pretty smooth, works as expected. No jams or malfunction. Overall, pretty good. All right, so as you guys can see, that was the fire and test of the nerf uh, Doomlands Vagabond. So yeah, overall, I mean, it performs good, just as expected. Kind of just like a strong arm, which this thing is pretty much is. And I'm pretty much going to keep calling that because um, that's what it is. I mean, it's pretty similar. Just instead, it's a pump action, has a cooler shell, you know, a cooler look and a different uh, cylinder type. Doesn't pop out like a strong arm, but yeah, overall, the Vagabond is it's one of my favorite Doomless Blaster. I mean, Doomless Blaster look like awesome, like something like the Desolator. I really enjoyed the Desolator. Slimmer Strife. And yeah, if you guys haven't checked that review yet, go check it out. But yeah, the Vagabond performs pretty good. I mean, it performs as expected. You know, don't jam to malfunction because there's really no way for this thing to jam unless if the cylinder gets stuck, which I hope it doesn't. So yeah. Overall, I mean, performance as expected. I mean, you know, pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing special or anything. Just a pump action six shot blaster with slam fire. So. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's pretty basic, but the shell kind of looks cool, so I guess that's what Nerf is going for here. So yeah, overall, overall it looks pretty cool, and it takes up less space than other, you know, Doomless Blaster, like the Judge. It's like a big trilogy, you know. I mean, back in the days, you know, the Judge was pretty cool, but now with all the other shotguns, uh, or Nerf shotguns out, it just makes the Judge kind of outdated and just oversized, but... Yeah, this thing takes up a lot less space and it's more easy to use, you know, less complicating. So, I mean, yeah, that's what you're aiming for. I mean, go ahead and get this thing. I will throw up the purchase link in the description down below. If you guys want to, you know, or if you guys want to pick one up for yourself, which I, I will recommend. But if you're a performance nerfer, not really. You know what I mean? So, if you're going for performance, go for Dark Zone, Adventure Force, or anything like that. Or even more, let's go for Worker Blaster, so yeah. Overall, pretty cool. Cool look, cool shell, performance as expected. You know, but yeah, overall, that's all about my review of the Doomlands Vagabond, Vagabond. Um, I have no idea what this thing is called no more. People keep on it. Some people call it Vagabond. Some people call it Vagabond. Some people call it Vagabond. But who knows? But, you know, call it whatever you want to call it, you know. Still his original name anyway. So, yeah, overall, that's all about my review of the uh, Nerf Vagabond. So, yeah, overall, that's all about my review. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff. And, yeah, well, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.